everybody. I'm Bobby Five for my five and five. We're going to be talking through today's plate. I hope you all had a today's plate, today's slate. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, we're going to try and start this week off right. Ended the week on a good note, but it could have been much better. It was was a little bit of a bummer to end the week, but we did have some people with some good runs. Sheets had another big win in golf. And uh, let's get it back going. Again, if you haven't checked it out already, please check out uh, Saber Sim through TrueDFS. I swear it's a it's an unbelievable product. I love Saber Sim. I think the projections and the optimizer is absolutely incredible. And we are charging just a fraction more. I think it's five dollars more for the packages, depending on which package. And uh, you can get all of our information, all of my plays of the day, all my lineup builds early in the day, all of my bets of the day, all of Sheets' projections, all of Rody's top stacks, all of Rody's pitching things, our core plays. Everything like that through, and it'll all be on the uh, Saber Sim screen if you are subscribed through TrueDFS. Also, want to say please like. And with that said, let's get into the video. We're going to make through. We're going to get through this quickly. Um, I have my top pitching prospects by slate. Uh, sorry, by site. Uh, so I've got Corbin Burns, Scherzer, Gibson, Berrios in that order on DraftKings. I don't mind if you want to mix it up and throw in Bieber or Bueller or even a guy like uh, Framer Valdez in there. But this is the way I'm going to end up playing it. And I do think I can double spend down in some spots and double spend up with some of the value that we don't know what's going to come on a Monday getaway day where you might get different starting lineups than you expect. On FanDuel, which starts at 710 Eastern, uh, as opposed to, to 310 Eastern on for DraftKings, we've got Scherzer, Bieber, uh, Bueller, and I don't know why Ray is in there. That's a mistake. I'm going to edit that while we go here because I don't want to give the wrong idea. It was just from last week, I believe. All right, uh, let's get back to it. We've got uh, my favorite stacks in order, Dodgers, Houston, Cleveland, same for both sites. I understand if you want to get a little bit off the chalk, if you do want to stack the bottom of the Dodgers order or on FanDuel, for example, play like a Will Smith at low ownership, maybe you could play a Smith, Muncie, and Freeman because of the position overlap. I think it's a really interesting route to go and I think you could possibly, it could possibly help you win a tournament. I love picking on Merrill Kelly. And I think that you're going to get low ownership on the bottom of the Dodgers order, including guys like those, like uh, Will Smith, who's really expensive on FanDuel. And then you can, uh, you know, do the wraparound with Lux and Taylor, maybe on DK. Um, I do like Houston quite a bit and I like Cleveland quite a bit. So those are the other ones I'm considering. I don't mind if you can see down at the very bottom, I have the Toronto mini stack and the Philly mini stack on DraftKings and the Toronto mini stack and the Angels mini stack on FanDuel as ways to get a little bit, I don't want to say different, but yeah, I guess a little bit different enough. In terms of spend ups, I have it like Betts, Alvarez, Ramirez, Freeman, Bregman on DraftKings. I have Betts, Otani, Alvarez on FanDuel. I think that you can argue any which of these orders. You could argue that Ramirez should be the top play every single night because the guy just absolutely crushes. The only thing that's concerning me a little bit about Ramirez is that, and it's partly because he's hitting home runs and hitting extra base hits and they're up by 10 runs. So it's kind of hard for him to steal. But we're used to seeing him run every time he gets on base and we haven't seen that in Ramirez quite yet this season. So Jose, hopefully you start running for us. But even if you don't, if you keep putting up a minimum of 12 fantasy points every game, we're going to be happy with you anyway. Uh, spend downs uh, or in the down slash mid tier uh, Bellinger, Tucker, Lux, McCutcheon on, on DraftKings, on, on FanDuel. Muncie's a little too cheap. So is Tucker, uh, Kyle Tucker, and Fran Mill Reyes. And I think all of them are tremendous plays, not exactly off the board, but that's sort of how you're building your cores. Remember, remember you can check out all of my core plays, all of my early lineup builds on the site. Hopefully you guys are a member or at least are willing to check it out. If you have any questions, hit us up on our discord, which is unbelievable and is still free for a very limited time. We're going to, we're coming up on a few weeks now. We'll have left a free discord. So jump on in while you can and uh, good luck to everybody tonight. If I don't take something down, I hope that you guys do. I hope that a true DFSer does and let's start this week out on the right foot and make some money. Good luck, everybody.